Hi everyone. Today is day 88. We often go back to the days when we were young. Someone was surprised when in my past stories that how was it possible for a 20 year old to become a chief engineer in a ship. I don't know whether it was 20 or 21 years, but that doesn't make a, any difference. But I don't know if it was a wow or a question mark. You see, I would like to clarify this person to make the person understand that you don't have to go to university or college to get a knowledge. Knowledge. I didn't have the opportunity to go into a university, but I've been to technical colleges and and uh, correspondence college and things like that. But in my experience, I learned some people cram for their uh, subjects, but I, I don't cram. I have a photographic memory. That's how I remember things that has happened long, long time ago. And that I hope that memory will last for, with me as long as I live. And I don't have any Alzheimer's or anything like rubbish like that. As long as I don't get that. When the morning I when I'm having a shower, I have a hot shower first. And then I turn the tap completely ice cold. And it freezes me, but even in the deep freeze, like minus eight we had, it didn't make any difference. That cold water hitting your head brings out the memory of your past. And it clicks, something clicks and tells you, okay, Kutan, this is what happened. Anyway, some scientists may think that it may not be possible, but I'm not here to argue about it. And, if, and uh, to clarify some of the, uh, not comments, it's uh, a, a question mark. We did have uh, Mohoko means uh, cassava, burnt on the charcoal and it was delicious with salt and chili. Chumbi and pilipili. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a soily word. And uh, I got the news today, the Zambian president passed away after 96 years old. Well, he lived his life he was a nice president as well. And I was going to work for Zambia when he, he was the president. But old story. Then, I'm trying to figure out, on, I've made some notes on the computer I'm not uh, missing what I've achieved in the past. And I listen to people, for experienced people, who have, uh, who are older than me and who had more knowledge than me. And those knowledge will click in your mind when you are in need of it. So, 
there's no point in the uh, what, what to say I uh, well yeah anyway that's what I was trying to say that uh, knowledge is not achieved just by going to university and and um, call it Imperial College or anywhere like that but I achieved my knowledge by sheer hard work and I know in and out of a whole engine all engines work alike whether it's a motor engine or a ship's engine or a boat engine or a motorbike engine or a car engine they all work the same principle and when they work the same principle, how it works and why the valves are opening and shutting and why the uh, uh, petroleum is exploding to push the piston down. It's all a knowledge you understand and you try to revive on it. The same thing goes to medicine. Medicine is a mechanical engineering. Medicine is about a body like the like, like the body of a computer. We study the computer because we want to learn what's inside the computer. We study the anatomy of a human being to become a doctor. If the engineers are not there, the doctors cannot use the equipment what the engineers make. Without the engineers, the doctors' lives are, uh, they'll have to go like this and try to find out if, if their heart is beating or if they, they have a, a pulse by touching. It's all general knowledge where you acquire from people, from people or person or by reading books. But you don't have to cram any knowledge. That's all I have to say. And uh, someone on uh, WhatsApp asked, asked me about this uh, beer and uh, I know the person is listening so I will explain Komben beer is a Indian beer that I've tasted from here in UK very strong but I don't like it the Kalyani beer is very good from India I love that Kingfisher has fantastic beer Stella they're all good beers and uh, also the Tusker from Mombasa, from Kenya, from East Africa, they all have Tusker. They also have different beer from UK and from India and everywhere else. But the coolest Tusker in the bottle is the best when it is so very hot there and you go into a, 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 a restaurant or a bar and have a very cold, ice cold beer. Beer ya barafu. Oh, it's fantastic. You don't need anything to bite in between. And the, they're talking about uh, Vittoria you put uh, chili powder and salt and you eat it. Oh, my mouth is still watering now. <laughs> and the mango, half ripe mango, they slice it like finger all round. They open it out and put chili salt, chili and sal salt inside. And to eat that, it's like you're being in heaven. Victoria is what we call in Kenya and Tanga, I believe. 
Then the knowledge of mothers, it's fantastic. When you go to your mother and say, Mom, I didn't pass my interview. And the mother says, no worries, son. You can try again and get another job, a better job perhaps. That's a very fantastic way a parent would say to their children. My mother always used to say, ask if you ask. It's only a word that's going. If you don't get it, you lost a word. But if you get it, you're getting the size of an elephant. Elephant. That's what my mother used to tell all the time. Always when you are in doubt, you ask. And if you get it, good. You get an elephant. But if you don't get it, you just lost a word. That's, I always remember my mother's philosophy in that. Thank you, Mother, for understanding your children. God bless. Don't forget. Oh, by the way, I got a call for the vaccination. I'm going on Friday. Friday morning vaccination for me. Bye for now. Don't forget that magic word. Subscribe for me. Thank you and bye.